Hey, what's going on guys, Hexeria, and today we're taking a look at the Star Wars 6-inch Black Line series, Kylo Ren from The Last Jedi. This is an unmasked version, which we've already got an unmasked version, which came in one of the later waves, and also as a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, so to put those two and the camera together, uh, you can definitely see that there are some changes. Uh, so over here, he's got the little robe thing, which is detachable, a lot like Director Krennic uh, from Rogue One. Uh, then you can see some of the other changes. One, the lightsaber. The lightsaber is a lot better. This is the definitive lightsaber for these little six inch uh, figures. So over here you have, this was probably one of the better ones uh, because the first release it detached and it didn't look all that great. So this one looked a lot better. This one you can see is a lot more translucent and looks more like it's a beam of light, I guess you could say, uh, where this just looks like, you know, red plastic. Uh, so much better lightsaber on this one. Now, you can see on the arms, this is because I know what these things are called, or pr pretty pretty much, uh, since I'm building a Color in uh, cosplay outfit. Uh, this is the inner tunic here, and from what we always saw, uh, for the most part, I think there's a couple of scenes where we actually saw this in uh, The Force Awakens, but you can always see the rivets here on the sleeve, so we still see that. Uh, looks like the uh, inner tunic here, uh, you know, has this going out, and now you can see the belt uh, is actually molded into that. Where this one, you know, is kind of its separate thing on the outer coat. Uh, then the he doesn't have this uh, mid coat anymore. It looks like so they completely did away with this mid coat and this outer coat as well. So he just has an inner tunic. Uh, the faces are a lot different there. So I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but you can see that this one is definitely a lot lighter. And this one, they it looks like they actually use like a beige paint on it. Uh, also, the sculpts of the faces and hair are different as well. Uh, from what I heard, Adam Driver wasn't really happy with this one. He didn't like the way it looked. It didn't, it didn't look like him. So... Um, they ended up doing a new mold for the head, which they probably would have done anyway, because they keep on doing it to Luke Skywalker's and uh, Rays and stuff like that. But uh, those are pretty much the main differences there. So he's missing a couple, you know, um, you know, uh, outer coats and mid coats here, to where you just see the inner tunic and then the faces and the lightsaber. Uh, so go ahead and. Show you these other little things that it comes with. So he also comes with this piece of the lightsaber. So if you wanted to show it where he doesn't have it uh, with the light coming out, I guess. I don't know who would do that. This looks way much cooler. But uh, you have that option. So we'll go ahead and put that to the side. Uh, and again, with this little cape thing, it's just a soft rubbery plastic. Much like I said with the director Krennic. Uh, to where it just kind of sits on his shoulders. Like so. Um, I guess I'll display it that way uh, so that I have his accessory, but uh, I think he looks much cooler, you know, this way. So maybe I'll even buy a, a second one uh, to just display this way. But uh, take a look at this lightsaber up close. There we go. Uh, you can see that you get the red line down here. You have the red dot here at the end. And you can see how this looks just so much better. Looks really cool. And I uh, get a better look at the face sculpt. While I still don't think it's perfect, <clears throat> uh, I think it does look better than the uh, previous release one. You can see the scar. Hopefully that's showing up on camera. Uh, there's, there is a scar right there. So, okay, maybe I caught it in the light right there. You can kind of see on my thumbnail. Uh, good job on the eyes. Eyes looking directly at you. I don't see any blotch paint or anything like that. So everything looks pretty, pretty smooth, pretty nice. Uh, as far as articulation goes, uh, you have the head that, you know, rotates however you need to and then goes back and forth on the neck joint. You have the arms that rotate, go in and out. You have the elbow that bends that rotates there as well. And then you have the wrist that rotate. This one over here goes up and down. And while this one over here goes up and down as well. Uh, the waist rotates just like so. Legs bend back and forth. This soft rubbery plastic. 
goes in and out you have the thigh cut you have the knee bend double jointed there you have the feet that go back and forth and they rotate as well now if you wanted to have no lightsaber on him uh, this is accurate to just putting it not directly to the side but a little bit to the back you do have this little piece right here and that should connect right there so if you didn't want to have that cool lightsaber um, which I guess the only way is if you wanted to put it on like another figure uh, you could put this on here and then you could put this weird looking overcoat thing that I hope he doesn't wear a lot in the movie uh, you could put that on him and there you have a, a, a you know pretty cool looking Kylo Ren so anyways uh, thanks a lot for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys later Peace.